A storm is coming. Mankind faces ruin and despair. The world is changing, yet hope remains in the hearts of the people. We go about our daily lives never knowing the forces that can change our destinies forever. We are oblivious, ignorant like sheep to the slaughter. This night, in the year of our Lord 1047, marks the beginning of our journey together. A journey into darkness, into madness. I watch him from the shadows. Is he the one? He has come far already, but he will be tested, tested to the very limits of human endurance and beyond. This night he rides looking for the old gods, armed with an amulet that has led him here. Tonight he will begin his journey into oblivion. The struggle for supremacy is eternal, inevitable. Victory is the natural objective of every creature on this world. They will kill and die for their kind to dominate. Some call this eternal struggle equilibrium, the balance between light and darkness. These are dark times, times without hope. Men of faith claim that this is a test from God to strengthen our spirit. Perhaps this is true, or perhaps it is simply a pious lie. If it is true, darkness has come to engulf one's proud humanity, and we are witnessing the end of mankind.
Who are you? I am Gabriel. I have traveled here seeking the Guardian of the Lake. You are from the Order? They sent you? How do I find him? He... He will find you. In the forest. I follow him into the old forest, watching him from afar. He is strong indeed. The one god comes to drive out the many, but here, in this place, god's influence is thin and threadbare. The old gods still hold sway here. Few venture this far into the wood. He is disturbed by dreams, dreams that gnaw at his very soul. He will rest for the night, but rest will not come easy. The battle has left him weakened, but he knows the dream will return, and though he fears nothing on this earth, yet his nightmares sap the strength within him and leave a cold grip on his heart. Tomorrow he will use the old hunting path. Long has it been in disuse, but for now he dreams. What motivates a man to confront the challenges that most of us would run from? Condemning him to solitude, exposing him to defeat and death. The answer is love, a force so powerful that all reason becomes blind to it, blind to all things, even the truth. Loss of love can make a man desperate, desperate enough to do anything to bury the truth, to hide from its pain. Here you seek the guardian of the lake. I will take you to him, but we must be quick. Climb onto my back. Hurry!
I can travel no further. You will find what you seek ahead. Alone again with only his thoughts as company, he continues on his journey to find the one he seeks. Who or what was that strange creature? There is a power here that few know, a power that could have some influence on events. Perhaps the guardian of the lake is aware of him now and offers aid in his quest. There is just the small matter of the dead bog to overcome, a place that has claimed the lives of many of the Brotherhood. The smell of death is strong here, and danger lies around every corner, but nothing will stop him, nothing will stand in his way.
Forgive me, brother, but my need is far greater than yours.
The stench of the bog fades into memory, and a land of great beauty lies before him, a paradise where nature lives in harmony with all living creatures, indeed a refuge for those who wish it. He is close now, close to the old gods and the old ways, long forgotten by men. This kingdom was once revered by all, yet now only a small part remains. Soon even this will disappear. The amulet senses its master. Its journey is almost over. He will need all his strength now, all his wits. If he is to succeed here, if he is to convince the old god to help him. Show yourself! 
The Brotherhood needs your help. I need your help. I know who you are, Gabriel. I am the guardian of the Lake of Oblivion, where the living can communicate with the dead. Tell me, warrior, are you aware of what is happening in the world? We have been deserted by God. Creatures from the Void come to claim the souls of men. To wipe mankind from the face of the Earth. And what of the Elders of your Order? What do they think? That God has not abandoned us. They believe that a powerful spell has been unleashed by someone or something. A spell that has isolated our world from the heavens. Cutting us off from God. And allowing evil to flourish unchecked. Why have the Brotherhood of Light sent you to the Lake of Oblivion? They have dreamt that a message waits for me at this lake. A message that holds a clue to our salvation. I was instructed to seek you out, in the hope that you may show me the path. The Elders believe that these dreams are the last message from the heavens, and that you should know something that we are unaware of. Is that it? Yes. My wife. Marie was murdered not two days ago by the evil that roams these lands. Her soul and those of the recently departed are trapped here and cannot find peace. And that is why they sent you to the Lake of Oblivion, because they believe that she is waiting for you here to deliver a message to you. Yes. Will you help me? Only the most deserving of the living are worthy of speaking to the dead. Are you worthy, Gabriel? What does this mean? Tell me! Only that you have passed the test. You appear worthy of entering the Lake of Oblivion.
Make sure you have your daggers with you. One never knows when need may arise. The test has shaken him. I see the doubt in his eyes as he heads towards the lake. So Pan is helping him now. That's good. Perhaps it bodes well. I wonder if he knows what awaits him here, in this place where the dead can contact the living. It is cold now. A chill wind blows through his heart. I can see it, feel it. He will need help if he is to succeed. He must not fail. He will not fail. Not now. Not yet. Not if I have anything to do with it.
Give me your dagger, quickly! Marie! Forgive me. I was not there to save you. There is nothing to forgive, my love. I am so happy to look upon your face again. And I yours. My love, the elders of the Order hope that you can help us to understand what is happening. The world has been isolated from the heavens. Some believe that God has abandoned us. Can it be true? I feel that... that the spirits are trying to talk to me. They whisper things to me. It is hard to understand them all. It, it is so dark. So many people crying. I cannot find them in the blackness. I'm scared. There is something else. A shadow is on my mind. You must help us, Gabriel. What are they telling you? Who are they? They are the spirits who founded your order. And that the power of the Lords of Shadow is the key. They talk of a prophecy. I don't understand what they mean. I can feel myself fading. I can hardly see you. Darkness is closing no. around me. Marie. I love you, Gabriel. Don't go, Marie. I love you too. Why are you here? Who sent you? I am Zobek, a warrior of your brotherhood. Pan and I are old acquaintances. He felt you would be in need of my assistance. I have heard of you. I am sorry. My name is Belmont. I know who you are. Was that the spirit of someone you know? Yes. It was my wife. Forgive me. I couldn't help but overhear what she told you. It sounds like the spirits who founded our order are trying to tell us something very important through her. What do you mean? Only that the founders of the order seem to be using the dead to communicate with us. The prophecy has been secret for many centuries. It is known only to a select few. There is no way she could have known of it unless they managed to tell her somehow. Praise be to God. What prophecy? It is written that a pure-hearted warrior will claim the power of the Lords of Shadow as his own and use it in order to overcome all evil. It is said this warrior would become God's vassal on Earth, supremely powerful. He could do anything. The Founding Spirits have not abandoned us, Gabriel. Thanks to your Marie, we now know there is some hope. We have to enter the lands of the Dark Lords, you and I. We must reclaim the powers they hold and unite the heavens with this world once more. And don't you see, Gabriel? You can bring her back. If what you say is true, then we need to work quickly and in secret. The Lords of Shadow must not suspect we are on their trail. 
but they will turn all of their attention towards us. We should take different routes, you and I. I will head for the land of the Lycans. You leave for the territory of the vampires and prepare the way. Then we must go on to the Lord of the Necromancers together. His realm lies furthest. Our enemy must suspect nothing. Take this. It will allow you to absorb spiritual energy and will help cure your wounds. Good luck, my friend. May we be granted victory. Thank you, brother. You have given me renewed hope. <laughs>